Onto this story, take a listen. To bury or not to burn? It's a question that became the subject of major discussions this week as the family of former Kibra Member of Parliament, Ken O'Koth, disagreed publicly. Well, from Ken O'Koth to Bob Collamore to Kenneth Matiba to Wangari Madai, more and more prominent Kenyans are embracing cremation. More are also in the dark about the cremation process. That's right. So what happens at a crematorium? And why is cremation becoming increasingly popular? Well... Victor Nzioka followed the process at Kariakor's Hindu crematorium. Take a look. Lately, there has been a lot of talk about cremation here in Kenya. Many people are familiar with the term cremation, but few are with the cremation process. That's why I'm here at the Kariakor Hindu crematorium to find out more. Pleasure meeting you guys. Welcome to our place, Hindu Samsan cremation place. This is the place where we cremate. This is the final house of every human being. This is where we put the body. There is a stand that normally we have in between here. The body comes, the family members only are allowed here. Then we start the prayers, your pastor, everybody. Once it is being brought in, this is where it comes in. The coffin, we put the coffin, we put the coffin on this thing or the body, then we push it in until here. Once the coffin is in, we close this door. Then we let the body inside. We leave it for about two hours. Once it is inside, well, the body is cremated, everything. This is the kind of ashes we get out. This is your remaining in life, in the, other, in the back, what we call the ashes. This is what normally comes out. We crush it and we have a crusher machine there. And this is what, it comes in a way, this. The India Upande Akuni. The body is kept on top here. I love it. Tunaanza kuweka gi, ini gi. Mafuta, aina ya gi. Indio tunaongezea kwa mwili na kwa kuni kwamba ilete moto na iwake kidogo zaidi ya raka alafu kwamba hii itaendelea kutomeka paka kesho ile ni masaa na tutajua sasa ile inakuishia na hapa hii ni mwili ile imechomwa tayari jana naona sasa hii ndio vitu ile inagotwa hii ndio sasa jifu hizi ni mama vupa sasa hapa hapa kupata tofauti ndio rahisi unaona sasa nikifanya fanya hivi kama hii ni kuni here, end of the day, utamaliziwa na 40,000. You are sasa, it is for done. And for Indians, it is 25. We take an average of two bodies a day. Mtoto kuzaliwa paka mwaka saba hatu chomi. Tunazikanga. Kama hiko wakati, ni tuliletewa hapa kwa kofi, tulifikiri na ni umbu wa sasa ilibidi tu chomi. You know, people have their own wheels. Yes, even I've cremated a cat. But they insist in things that we don't allow. Now, we let a mwili kuchoma lazima kuja na documents. That is the law. Kesho we utatoka kuwa mutu kuja kuninda ni choma mwili na itokezia siya ashida. It is not us to tell you what to do with the ashes. Those are your things. Wengine andaka kuweka kwa shamba kwa miti, apandishe miti nayo, mungine anaza kuenda nayo, aenda yaweke hapo kwa nyumba as a remembrance. Lakini, Kila, lakini kikimila yetu inasemanga zizi tufanye, tunayena kuweka kwa muto. Kama tukona, tulikuwa na ingine ya Chinese hapa, ya Chinese kimila nae ni tafauti. Yao kila kitu ile ukitumia kwa maisha. The, iyo ya manamuke, sijawai kufanya, lakini ya dume ni meona hapa. Chochote ile dume anatumianga chochote. Manake simu, marashi, guwa inayote, hawa nazileta wanachoma.